But back to Rose, you know, Trisha Rose said that hip-hop remains a never-ending battle for status, prestige, and group adoration, always information, always contested, and never fully achieved. What she's really saying is, like, the art form's always evolving, right? Like, hip-hop isn't just breakbeats still, right? It's evolved to all these other different forms, you know what I'm saying? So meaning, like, you know, hip-hop kind of embraces this, this, this status or this this element that like um nothing is complete nothing's finished nothing's in its finished form and that same goes for hip-hop it's never complete it's always changing it's always evolving or should always be now she talks about um these four stylistic continuities and i want you to know these they're important all right and i'll apply them to the elements of hip-hop number one in hip-hop there's always flow okay and I'll talk about that. Flow is like, um, you know what I'm saying? It's like there is fluidity in some way. There is cohesion in some way um, between, you know, various things, text, bodies, letters, um, words, etc. Uh, next is layering, that things are layered on top of one another. And the last is that there's ruptures in line, that there is essentially breaks. A line goes like this and then goes up, you know, and she kind of uses the three ways of, of looking at continuities between, um, you know, stylistic continuities between hip hop elements. And she says these are things that, you know, manifest in the dance and the music. OK, so if we look at graffiti, here's this classic Dondi piece, right? If we think about flow, right, well, flow, just look how the letters flow together. Look at how the colors, you know, flow um, together, etc. Also, the trains, they move, they flow through the flow through the city. So you can think of just different ways the aerosol can flowing as it's spraying the paint. You know, that's where you can think of flow there. If we think of flow um, in B-Boy and B-Girl and why we got a B-Girl, you know, we can think of um, flow here as you know movement um, you know movement to the music flowing on tempo um, you know uh, etc that they're they're moving along with with the music in unison in many ways with MCs again rappers how they flow to the beat how they manipulate their voice um, you have you hear people say oh the, you know she's got flow on the mic it means you know that the MC can um, you know bend words and how they use their words um, work differently and they fit words and, and, and uh, syllables within different pockets of, of the music and they flow in with uh, the music. And the DJ flow between songs, flow between breaks, um, flow, you know, flowing with the, um, the audience, with the b-boys, with the b-girls, etc. Now, if we think of layering, we look at the graffiti piece, we look at how the colors are layered, look how depth is created, look how dimensionality is created with, with, with the paint, um, look at all the layers on top of the subway or on top of, of the subway car or on top of buildings or, you know, it's layering um, there. Uh, you know, again, we can think of layers with like b-boying and b-girling, like how because of how they flow with the music, how they layer on top of it, how they add texture and depth um, to the music through their dance and how, um, you know, uh, that becomes like a major element of b-boying and b-girling. Um, layering again with, with the MCs, again, how they build upon and create a layer with the music. And obviously DJs are layering different texts, different music sounds together, mixing between them. Um, etc. Ruptures in line, I mean, again, as much as, you know, part of what hip hop is, is it's flowing and then break, you know, and that's like a major part. So with graffiti, like you see that with all the wild styles and letter styles where, you know, you have some styles that are super bubbly, super flowy, and then you have arrows, you know, um, you start to have wild styles where it's all angular and, and, and the lines are all, all crazy. Um, and you can even have that, you know, if we look at the Dondi piece, right, like we have that in so, so many ways. We breaks in color. We do have breaks in, in lines, too, within the lines that flow and layer. 
uh, think about like our B girl here, you know, she's about to pop a freeze. So as she's flowing and layering with the music, she breaks from that by pap, you know, coming out of, you know, like a power move, like a windmill or something and going into a different type of freeze and just freezing in that position, you know, um, you know, breaking from the music itself. Um, you can also like have this with, with MCs as they sort of, you know, their lines rupture. And this can, again, be like, if you think of how they're flowing, of how they break, of how they break that, of how they flow in a specific way to the beat. And then in like, you know, another verse or another you know, part of a verse, they'll drop into a different type of flow to convey a different type of meaning. And DJs, you know, it's about the break, right? It's like taking that piece of music, that's where that rupture in line is for DJs, is really with the break or scratching. You know, that's so so bad, um, right? But they're, break, they're, they're rupturing lines of music, um, you know, they're, they're, they're killing that flow but also creating that flow simultaneously. So I think, I hope that makes a little bit of sense. So we're going to move on to um, uh, a couple things. Um, I just want to talk about the importance of Africa Bambata and uh, Grandmaster Flash, and then we'll talk about that, you know, get us ready for the hip hop years. Um, but I just want you to know that one of the main things about hip hop is it takes all, you know, in the culture, is it takes all of the forms of music, of style, um, et cetera, and it makes it hip hop. That's just a su super part. And hip hop has figured out to invent, reinvent, um, give new meanings to, you know, things of the past, to history, right? Um, and the primary element here is being original. That is a major part in having your own style, not biting someone else's style, not being a biter and copying someone that you are an innovator, that you're unique, you know, you're not like someone else. 